Yo, YouTube, how are y'all doing? It is your boy Reese coming out with a video. I know I've it's been forever since I actually wanted to show y'all. I wanted to wait till the car was complete in my eyes before I show y'all the entire whip. But now it is. It's been a while. Hope y'all having a fantastic blessed day. Whoo, it's sunny out here. Sunny, sunny, sunny. So uh just this is gonna be a quick look, just a quick little video, you know, nothing too crazy. I uh, just wanted to show y'all around the car finally. Because y'all really never got to actually see the car. Uh, it's just a 03 Honda Accord. Uh, they consider this the 7th gen. You know. Um, you got it. At, so we're just going to go go around the car and just talk about what it is I've done to the car. I mean, for those who own an Accord, have seen one of these, you know, you already know night and day difference between stock and regular. But I didn't do too much. Most of it is aesthetics. So I have an HFP kit all the way around going from the front lip side skirt i got a bumper release i know i got kind of like uh i uh, kind of like the video kind of don't like the bumper release video still love you guys nonetheless doesn't matter and um so the car is dropped I have the car dropped on bc racings uh yeah i have a video on that as well y'all saw that uh, and then i have just a little you know rear scoop it's nice excuse the car it's a little little dirty but whatever and then of course I wrapped the top myself you know it's not the most professional job in the world still got a, a little bumps here and there but oh well um, <clears throat> you know and then I got the side visor and if y'all don't mind please drop a like I know you know I, I know y'all can drop that like y'all y'all are such loving people y'all are awesome people I can tell by the questions and the comments I get in my previous videos that you know y'all are enjoying this to a degree so um, I thought I'd just, you know, show y'all what I'm working with. I got the, I forgot what the lights are actually called, but there's a LED bar here. And I got them blacked out and I don't have the uh, the orange amber thingy here either. I got an amber delete. And then I also have an amber delete here as well. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. So then I got some Motegi Racings on. They're 18 by 8s. Not the widest wheels in the world. It gets the job done. Functional reform kind of thing. Uh, all the way around. Uh, if y'all have suggestions on other size wheels, I've been looking to uh, get another set of wheels, but from what it is uh, I've been told, I mean, these are pretty pretty awesome. Uh, if you were to get a pair of these Motegi Racings, I believe these are M127Rs. <sighs> Very lightweight, reliable, never cracked on me, never had to replace them, anything like that. Um, it's a little dirty. Like I said, it's a little dirty. Just please excuse me. If y'all don't mind, also follow us on IG. We're detailers as well. Started detailing uh, about a couple years ago. Around the time I stopped putting up videos. So that's what I've been really working on. And there are other things that we're going to be uploading and working on as well um, in the future. And we'll keep y'all posted on that later. But, um, oh, so... A lot of questions as to how the bumper releases are holding up. These are still the original bumper releases from since the video. So hopefully y'all's bumper releases lasted as long. Um, the rubber, as for the rubber and all that stuff, still lasts all the way up. I never replaced them. It's still there. That's always good news, right? So interior. Still got the steering wheel. Um, as for the pedals, I got rid of the brake pedal. Uh, version of the neochrome because one time I was doing the awesome stuff that typical car guys would do and the pedal just like fell off under my foot so you know heel toe is very important when it comes down to pressing on the brake and the pedal so that was a really dangerous kind of thing for me and I didn't like that and um, whatever you know, I got rid of it and just put the old one back on just, just fine steering wheel is holding up very well I'm still holding up very well um only thing I only quirk I have with it is that there was like this really small nub here that kind of like snaps at the bottom, so it's kind of like spinning, kind of weird. I brought it to uh, Formula D 2017, and that's when the nub snapped. So ever since then, it's, it still functions perfectly fine. It requires two hands. Maybe let's see if I can get it off with my one hand. Nope, my brother in crime is going to help me. Still comes off just fine. Still spins there, you know. Whatever. Um, 
And then uh, I actually had to get another motor for this car as well. So I got this car in 2013, 2014, about 2013. So this car was already a decade old. Um, got my mask. Quarantine, of course. Quarantine on deck, whatever. Um, car was already a decade old when I got it. So it came with about 134,000 miles. So I had to get a whole nother motor in here. She's treated me so well. She's always treated me well. She's been there for everything. So I said, well, why not? She deserves it. So she's driving much smoother now. She came with a 75,000 uh, mile motor and she's running smooth. Want to hear it? I know y'all want to hear it. <laughs> they want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, they, it sounds a lot different, of course. But. Whew. You want me to help? Yeah. yeah. Just to the side, to the side, to the side. Yeah. Anyways, so that's that. Shout out to my helper today. Hey. 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 So yeah, that's what I got for y'all today. Just a little, you know, just a little something, something. Nothing too crazy. But again, please, like I said, drop a like if y'all don't mind. Um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on IG. I don't know. Inspire underscore auto underscore detail. And again, I hope y'all have a fantastic and blessed, blessed, blessed Sunday. I'll catch y'all guys later. We got more coming for y'all. Don't even worry. Don't even, they haven't even heard about the IS300 yet. They haven't even heard about the IS300. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Peace out, guys.